Hey everyone, Dan from danwagner.co with a quick tutorial on combining data from many sheets to one single sheet using VBA in Excel. In this example, we start with three sheets, each with the same set of columns but a varying number of rows. And we want to combine all this information onto the import sheet. As a quick walkthrough of the code, we set some references up front by assigning the import worksheet, identifying the last occupied row and last occupied column on the destination sheet, which is our import sheet. We assign the destination range the first time, knowing that the data needs to enter cell A2 on import. And then we start looping through each of the sheets except of course for the import sheet because that's where we want our data to go. We don't want to pull data from that sheet. We identify the last occupied row on each sheet. We copy the source uh, range on each sheet and we paste it to the destination range which was initially set up outside of the loop but it gets updated here at the end of the loop each time. So let's see this script in action. Sweet. All right, so we wind up with 33 rows, which sounds about right because we start with seven on IO access. We have 16 more rows in the mix, which gives us 23 from memory disk. And finally, 10 more rows from peripherals, which adds up to 33. Awesome. Let's quickly review the most critical parts of this script, however. Here, where we set up the range that we're going to copy. Then the next line, where we actually copy the range to the destination of interest, right, which is on our import sheet. And then finally, where we change and increment the destination range on the import sheet. So let's let it rip again. Okay, so we are on the IO access sheet. We set the range initially by looking at first cell A2 and finally the last occupied row and last occupied column, which is 8-4, which means cell D8. We assign that to range source and then we copy range source to range destination, which currently is cell A2 on the import sheet. Awesome. Then we find the last row on the destination sheet, which will be row eight, and we set the new destination to be cell A9, which is row nine, column one. Awesome. The process repeats on a memory disk, and I'm gonna play through this one a little bit more quickly. Back over here on import, we can see that data gets added again, and the last row and the destination range get updated again. And finally, we're over on peripherals. A2 to D11 becomes our new source range, and we copy that to cell A25 on the import sheet. And finally, we increment these one more time, but that is the end of our loop, and we're done. Thanks so much. If you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to reach out. And of course, if you want more step-by-step -step guides to using VBA in Excel, be sure to sign up at danwagner.co. Thanks.